Hey YouTube, I'm Jay Sones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy one rune book to another using Razor on UO Outlands. We'll cover how to dump out a rune, grab the description, and use it to rename your freshly marked rune. Get ready to cowboy yell on that subscribe button. Hey Jace, how the f do you copy a rune book in Razor? You know what? Thanks for asking. The requirements are you need two rune books, one filled, one blank, and enough blank runes and regs to make sure you can mark and recall. By default, this rune list is 16 characters long, or 16 long, which is a full rune book. If you don't want to copy the whole rune book, you can remove elements out of the list. Uh, for example, this script will go from 1 all the way to 16. It always starts with 1. So, like, let's say I only had, you know, 8 runes in here. I would, I would comment out this extra stuff here. Anyway, let's assume you have a full rune book. I mentioned it up here, the script will remove a rune from your friend rune book, recall that location, and then use the description of the rune to make the new one. Once it recalls, it will attempt to mark a blank rune and rename it based on the description. I just said that. Uh, assuming all goes well, it puts the runes back. Uh, and I have a little warning here. If your runes are unsafe, this may fail. So just keep an eye on it. It takes about five minutes to run a rune book. So I'll slap that right here, a little overlay as I'm talking. But basically, we're we're creating a list of the items that we want to run. Okay, and then I also have some helper messages here. So, like, let's just save and play. Um, hey, you can't continue. You need at least 16 unmarked runes in your backpack. So I'm trying to cut out how many you might need. Uh, and I do that dynamically, right? So uh, I didn't type all this out. I actually created a little uh, Node.js program here for that. If you're interested in finding out more about Node.js and JavaScript and some other cool things, uh, just let me know in the comments. Definitely want to branch out into that. Anyway, back to the Razor script. So a little helper method to make sure that we have the correct runes in our backpack. Uh, and then we want to make sure that we don't have any just random runes in our backpack either, because I'm going to use the rune count to know what, where we are. I set a variable, rune book copy from, if you run just set var, it actually pauses the cursor there until you select a variable. In this case, it's going to say select a rune book to copy from. You select your full rune book, select a rune book to copy to, select your blank one, and it begins copying. Uh, I do a little skill timer check here, basically saying if not a timer, uh, create one and set it to 11 seconds. We're going to loop the list of runes. I'm not actually using this rune to copy value anywhere, but it's basically it's allowing me to know how many how many if statements we should run we come in here and we're going to check mana uh, if our mana is less than 20 we can't do anything while our mana is uh, less than 31 let's pause for mana and i'm doing a skill check on meditation here so it doesn't spam meditation it tries every 11 seconds as we're pulling a rune the rune number which happens to be one it's always going to pull rune one but this just tells us we're on rune 15. Uh, it tries to double click the rune book from, which is this variable, boom. And after it opens it, we're gonna wait for that gump. We're gonna do gump response three. Gump response three is to drop a rune. It's on page one, that's drop, drop is three. We drop the rune and we are gonna check our backpack. And I say, if find type recall rune backpack zero. And the reason why we can know the difference is because if I do greater than info on a marked rune, it's called a recall rune, it's 7956, and the default hue is zero. An unmarked rune, actually just a different hue. So it's still called a recall rune, same ID, but the hue is 2882. So in Razor, the new Razor, the better, better Razor at the moment, but the hopefully full client when this get video goes out tomorrow, we can say if find type recall rune in our backpack and we can specify a hue. So I say if we found a recall rune with hue of zero, which is a marked rune, we're gonna mark that, name that as current rune. And current rune will basically be the description, the serial number of the rune that I found. I wanna gump close the rune book. I'm going to get the label of the rune. That means it's going to click it once and it's going to store the label as rune description. I overhead the rune description just so we can see it. And then we cast recall and we target that rune that's in our backpack. If our followers are above zero, I say all guard me. This helps with uh, if you happen to be a tamer or a summoner that as you're going through the runes, if there happen, happens to be anything that might interrupt you, this will hopefully prevent that. We cast mark and we wait for target. 
I tried a handle if you got interrupted. Uh, again, I got interrupted a few times. This worked and didn't work, so just FYI. Uh, we target to type the recall rune in our backpack of the Hue 2882, which is an unmarked rune. And then we lift the current rune we just marked back into our rune book to copy from, which puts it at the very end of the list. So when we drop, if we look at this rune book, for example, and we drop Daria out of the front and we put it back, it's gonna be in the back of the book. The good news is the script runs through all of them. So the way this happens, it's gonna put it back in the order that it was originally in, as long as you let it run the whole book. And then if we find type recall rune of type zero, that means we put the old rune back and we have a new rune that's freshly labeled, or about to be freshly labeled. We're gonna label that as new rune. We're gonna give an overhead message to say rename. It's gonna double click the rune, which it goes boom, boom. Enter a description for this marked object. And we're gonna do a prompt response, which is how you answer these prompts with the rune description from the original rune. And we're gonna wait just a half a second and then lift that rune into the book to copy. I throw a warning if for whatever reason we weren't able to find the copy rune. And I also have this down here. My, we might be done if we can't for some reason get the rune out of the rune book. So at the very end, after it loops the list, enjoy your copy. Make sure you leave a smash down in the comments uh, with a suggestion, what you guys want to see next, whether you liked it, loved it, hated it. Be sure to check out my other videos. Be sure to share these things with your friends. Uh, if you have any requests, let me know on Discord.